What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I want to talk about the nerf to the Worm Husk Tran, the Hunter Exotic Helmet, which as you well know, regains your health upon dodging. Now, are people looking too far into this nerf? Because it's changed, does it necessarily mean it won't be a viable option anymore, especially when the Forsaken drops and the big changes to PvP? All I've seen is the Worm Husk has been ruined. Why Bungie, why? People basically looking too far into what was stated in the tribe in my opinion but before we discuss this if you guys would like to show your support to both me and my channel and if you enjoyed the video hitting that thumbs up button truly helps me out also if you are new around here subscribe for those daily forsaken videos okay so what's actually happening to the worm host crown well the twab states and to be honest i can see why people are jumping to conclusions as although it's kind of clear as soon as people read the initial benefit has changed they think all doom and no gloom now seeing a new way pvp will play within the forsaken everything is so much quicker getting and being killed seems so much faster even player styles and so forth. So why are they quote unquote nerfing the worm husk? Well, let's see how the worm husk works now. So reading the exotic intrinsic perk, it states, dodging begins health regeneration, small bump to health when dodging. So at the moment, the dodge does two things. As soon as you initiate the dodge, you get a small initial bump to your health. And it also begins health regen while the dodge is taking place and after the dodge is complete. It takes roughly two to three seconds to fully regen your health in shield. While dodging because the initial bump to your health though isn't that great one more shot at a lower health will kill you and it stops that health regen now for me i use the dodge when at a low health mid battle i'll dodge hopefully get my health back get the advantage and land the kill but what happens to me most of the time is i get shot again as soon as i dodge and normally end up dying straight away because it takes a few seconds for your health to actually regen and the initial bump in health isn't that great i normally end up dying instantly so with the worm host change there is no dodging begins health regeneration anymore, this is gone. But instead of a small bump to health when dodging, we get a larger bump to health and shield as soon as we initiate the dodge. Now obviously we don't know how big the initial bump is, but it is a larger bump to health and shield. So this bump will instantly give us health and shield, instead of a small bump to health on initial dodge and start a slow health regen. What they are doing here is changing this exotic to match the newer, faster style of play before Saken's new style of PvP. This in my opinion is certainly not a nerf to the exotic if anything guys this is a buff to match the way pvp will play with the forsaken the intrinsic perk on the worm host crown won't offer health regen when the forsaken drops but instead will give you a larger bump to health and shield as soon as you initiate the dodge this will allow you to even more so get the heads up on opponents in battle especially with a faster time to kill coming so if you're playing destiny's pvp as it is now using the worm host crown you are in a close quarters battle you get dropped up to real low health and you use your worm host to regen your health you still initially have to take cover for a few seconds because the small bump to your health isn't that great and one more shot like demonstrated in this video will kill you so you have to take a few seconds out for your health to regen then you go back into the battle and land a kill on your opponent the way the worm husk will be post forsaken is as soon as you initiate the dodge you will get a larger bump to your health and your shield meaning you won't have to take them a few seconds of cover although you still will be vulnerable during the dodge you still won't have to wait a few seconds behind cover for your health to regen you will get a bump to your health and shield which in my opinion will be enough for you to land a kill instantly so the way pvp will be with the forsaken and everything being so much faster including time to kill this change to the worm host crown in my opinion certainly is not a nerf if anything guys it's actually a buff which will help us with the new time to kill with the forsaken so to all the people out there saying it's going to be a useless exotic when the forsaken update comes no no it isn't at all I mean, obviously we don't know how much of a health and shield bump we do get, but I'm certain it's going to be enough, especially with the new buffs to other exotics like the Warlock Gauntlets, the Khan Steam Armlets or whatever they're called. Them things are ridiculous and there's so many other things Titan and Warlock subclasses offer which allow you to get your health back. They are even buffing the Warlock's Rift to give you more health quicker and they are doing this because of the new way PvP will play. 
Things are gonna get a lot quicker. You will die much faster. And changes like this to the Wormhorse Crown ain't a nerf in my opinion. But let me know what you think about this. Let me know down below within that comment section, guys. But on that note, just a quick video I thought I'd make clearing things up. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like truly helps me out and I do appreciate the support. Also, guys, before I go, every single month I give away a fully customizable controller for either Xbox or PlayStation sent anywhere in the world. To be with a chance of winning it, simply drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. And also make sure you're subscribed to the channel then follow the gleam link at the top of the video description it's fast simple and legit guys but thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully i will see you on that next one always in the